This story begins on Christmas Day, which happens to be my favourite day of the year. If you asked many children around the world, I'm sure they would agree. This is not unlike other Christmas stories you may have been told. They always seem to have a common theme. Family and love, lending someone a hand. In this story, on this Christmas day, one year ago exactly. It had been cold, but I hardly noticed as the sun had been shining. The house was filled with noise, laughter and warm, excited smiles. Cousins to play with, aunts, uncles, grandma in her favourite chair. It was how we would always do things. Our house was the Christmas house. Mum and Dad and me. Everyone would come here and stay from early morning to last light. Outside, we had fairy lights in the bushes that lined the driveway that flickered blue, then white, then green, then back again. Lanterns fashioned around the doorway filled with candlelight. And this year, we had a new addition to our lineup of decorations the wooden Mr. Reindeer. I helped to pick him out at the Christmas market. He was small enough for me to carry all the way home, but big enough to see from the gate when I put him on the grass underneath the front room window. On Boxing Day, when the house was finally quiet again, I went outside early to see him. He was there where I had left him, but something was different. Why did he look different? His legs, his body were all fine. His head, his head! Oh dear! But the space between his ears! Mr Reindeer has lost his antlers, I said loudly to no one. I looked all around the garden, but I could not find them. I looked up and down our street, along the pavement. I did not see them anywhere. Every day when I went back to school, I looked until I couldn't any more. After a few months, when the weather changed and we had to stay at home more often, it made me sad. I wanted to keep looking. Mr Reindeer needs his antlers, I told my mum. We will find them, she said. But we have to be safe and careful where we go for now. I didn't want to put him away in the attic with the other decorations, not when he was missing a part of himself. Sometimes I took him to school with me to cheer him up. Summer came. Even though we would normally visit the beach or travel for a holiday together, we couldn't. Not this summer. We couldn't have family barbecues or celebrate grandma's special birthday couldn't see my neighbour Rosie, who's my age. I would only see her sometimes in her window, staring out. She often looked sad. I wondered if she had lost something too. She never had Christmas decorations outside her house, so I guess she hadn't lost anything like that. No antlers, just leaves dropping as autumn came. We had Halloween at home with face paint and sweets, but no knocking at the door, no fun and fearful screams. Just mum and dad and me, and Mr Reindeer, without his antlers. And Casper, the friendly ghost on TV. More time passed when finally something happened. The Friday before Christmas, when I walked with mum home from school, my neighbour Rosie was standing at our gate. It was funny not seeing her behind her window. I think they blew into my garden. I thought they were strange twigs, so I put them under the bench. Her voice was quiet. Then she began to smile. I couldn't come and see you until now, and I forgot for a while until I saw you carrying him home the other day. She had them. All this time, they were kept safe. She knew that they would be needed by someone who missed them. I rushed inside to retrieve Mr. Reindeer. When I brought him outside, we stuck his antlers on his head together. Then I said to her, that maybe he could stay in her garden under her front room window this year. He could look out for her and keep her safe. That made her smile wider. Christmas this year will be very different. But it's okay. We still have decorations, we have food, and we can still see Grandma on the computer. I realised 
that Mr Reindeer had managed all year without his antlers. He had been okay. It was good that he could now be reunited with them, but he would have been okay without them. I'm sure he was happy. I was also sure that this Christmas he will be happy spending it with Rosie in her garden or in her house with her family, where he would continue to be safe.